So one day, a K-pop fan, aka you, checks their phone and your bias is in your DMs saying, We're going on a date. Steven, that would never happen. Okay, you know what? Just go with it. Which K-pop idol would you go on an ideal date with and what would you two do? Besides fangirling non-stop because that's a given. Solar, we would go stargazing but then I would only stare at her because she is the most beautiful star. You want my destiny. Jay from day six, we would probably just bundle up like a burrito and a pillow fort. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Chicken Little would love that. My ideal date would be with Jin and I would DM him and be like, on a scale of one to 10, you're a nine and I'm the one you need. And he'd be like, ha, you're wrong. I'm a 10 and I don't need you. I'm already dating myself. <laughs> you're a joker guy. <laughs> I would give Namjoon a handshake on our date. Yes, that poor man. Me sliding into BTS's DMs. Hey, are you BTS? Because I need you. Oh wait, crap, you are BTS. Oh God, how do I send this? That was embarrassing. I would go out with Kim Taehyung. We would go ice skating in January. I would forget my gloves and he would take my hand and put it in his jacket pocket. As soon as things get romantic, since we are both a little clumsy, one of us would fall and cause the other two as well. We would lay with our backs on the hard ice and laugh, and the night would end with him walking me to my house and giving me a goodnight kiss in front of the apartment door. And three words leave his lips. I love. Cypher. Oh my god, me too. Go on a date with Suga and force a ring on his finger and when he puts his signature on the paper to pay for dinner, it's actually a marriage paper for J-Hope! So for life, boy! Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. I would like to have a date with Lisa in an escape room and hope that we can never escape so that we can be together forever. JK, JK, I, I go drink coffee or something. I would go with Monster X's Hyungwon so we can talk about highly intellectual stuff. Memes. I would go to a cafe with Dayan and then tell her I'm going to the bathroom but I'm actually spying on her with secret cameras while Sana and Momo somehow find her and start to fight for her while I'm eating the popcorn. You know, I did not think these ideal date situations would end up with you guys playing matchmaker, but um, that's cool. Hmm, I'll pick Yoongi and I'll just take a damn nap with him. I would go on a date with Jungkook. We would walk on the beach, staring at the sunset as he sings me a beautiful love song and we would just stare into each other's eyes forever. And if Jungkook was in my DMs, I would probably act like I'm selling things so I would get their location and- Oh wait. Something happened guys, uh, you've woken up from your dream and the reality is they don't know you exist. But it's okay because it was a hypothetical question, it was never gonna happen anyways. And thanks to East Meet East, you can actually meet that handsome Asian Opar to go on a date with who also shares the same interests as you. It's perfect! If you didn't know, East Meet East is the number one Asian dating site in the US and where you can make meaningful and true relationships. And since you're bored and lonely at home during quarantine, download the app to meet and chat with new people and you can end up finding a bay to watch Crash Landing or Itaewon class with you. Oh my god, Steven, that's such a great idea. They also have live streaming built into the platform through which you can talk to people via live video. So live streaming plus online dating via East Meet East is the way to hashtag break the distance during the quarantine. So sign up for East Meet East today. The link will be in the description below. And thanks to East Meet East for partnering with me in today's video. I actually want to go to an amusement park with either Namjoon, Jackson, or Juhan, or maybe all of them. The point is I want to record their reactions to everything or just be kids again. Oh, that would be such a good episode for a program where all three of them are like on a roller coaster side by side and all screaming their heads off. The chaotic energy we need. I would go on a date with Baekhyun and we would go to Disneyland because dreams and wishes come true there. But earlier that day, I would call up Chanyo and tell him to go to Disneyland and meet me somewhere, then take Baekhyun to that spot and ditch him and leave him with Chanyo and wish for them to get married and it should come true. Again, playing match
matchmaker. I like it. Sung Kwan from 17. We go to a karaoke room, go to a market to try awesome Korean street food, and walk along the Han River. A date. Nah, I'd rather just have a full-on day with the 97 liners and see what happens to Jaehyun while Bam Bam, Yugyeom, and Jungkook go full-on chaotic! If I'd see Kevin Moon on a dating app, you can bet I'd start off with the good old Ayo, you know who it is! And I'd definitely take him to a Beyonce concert so the queen can finally notice him. I would go to Yoongi's Genius Lab and check out what songs he's been working on. Then we would order delivery and watch Netflix or YouTube until either a member crashes our date or I wake up, realizing it was a dream and the songs I listened to weren't actual songs. And if he was in my DMs, I'd probably spam him with lots of random messages until he blocks me. Lol. I would go on a date with Felix from Stray Kids and we would probably just chill and make TikToks together. I can see us making a pillow slash blanket fort too. It would be pretty chill and we would go to a casual restaurant together afterwards. My bias is Mina from Twice so in case she likes Marvel movies, I'll bring her to watch some Marvel movies and also I'll DM her 24-7 and tell her I always love her. I really enjoyed reading this comment so for the next video I want you guys to comment down below your own YN Life fanfic with a K-pop idol. Make it super interesting, make it super funny and your comment can be in the next video. And once again, thank you East Meaties for sponsoring today's video. Bye!